Welcome to Architects Broadcast, the place where the future architects comes to get inspired. If you have not subscribed yet, you're missing out. This video is collaboration with Archipedia. Hello Architects, welcome back. In this video, our expert will teach you the basics of V-Ray, so it will be a kickstart for your V-Ray learning curve. And if you want to download this book, which contains step-by-step V-Ray tutorial from beginner to advanced level, I recommend you to watch the video first and then look into this book, so you will be having a better understanding. Watch the video till the end. You will find out how to download this book for free. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So now to start with V-Ray, we will open SketchUp first and then we will create a small room. After adding the rectangle, we will add walls. And then we will extrude it. Now that look fine. And now we will add materials. Click on material tab and then import any material of your choice. I'm adding asphalt and concrete. I'm adding tile into the floor. You can check the size of the tile. We can edit it as well. You can change it to any number. You can see how this thing is changing. We can also change the color for reference, but it, it will not make any changes in the actual figure just for the reference we can change it like if we are working on a complex object and we need to differ so now after clicking on V-Ray buffer it will show you a live buffer of the object we can zoom in to the actual figure and it will up, it will be updating live into the V-Ray we can see the tiles now we will Adjust the direction of sunlight. It can be done in the shadows panel. You can see how the direction of sun is changing in the shadows as well. It is very important because we need to check the direction of sun while rendering in the VA. We can adjust the time of the day. We can also adjust the date as per calendar. Now we will import a 3D object into our scene. Let's check some objects on 3D warehouse and we will import it. Okay, so this chair looks good. We will import it into our scene. As you can see, it is too small, so we will scale it according to our scene. We'll make it a little bigger. Yeah, this seems perfect now. You can scroll and see it again. We will open the video buffer window. Yes, now it is showing in the video scene as well. We can change the shadows. So these are the materials that are available in SketchUp. These are the basic materials which are enabled in SketchUp on its own. And now we will use the V-Ray materials that are, that are available with the V-Ray. Now let's jump into the V-Ray materials. V-Ray materials are available. You can see it here. Click on this window and then here are the materials that comes with V-Ray. These are high quality materials that make the scene better. We can select any of these bricks, car paint. There are several materials available in different categories. We will select concrete, wall paint and wallpaper. First we will select our wallpaper. We will select this one, click on add to scene and then click on paint. This is the procedure which you have to use whenever you are applying material from V-Ray. Now you can see in the V-Ray buffer window that this object is showing here. Now we will change this, click on the same window, select any other, add it into the scene. And now we will select the V-Ray buffer window. We will select another material and apply it. We will select tiles. And we will paint it on the wall. 
The size of the tile is too small here, so we will increase the size in the edit window. We'll make it bigger. It is too big for now, we will reduce it. Now this looks fine for now. But the material doesn't look nice on the wall, so we will change it. We will select bricks. There are several types of bricks available in the scene. Select it and paint it. Then we will change the size. Now this looks fine, so I'm fine for now. We will add wooden tiles on the floor. The size of tile is too small as you can see it here so we have to increase the size to make it visible to make the design visible we will change it to 2 as you can see the render how this looks on the render screen we can change the properties of the render we can add glossiness, we can add reflection as well we'll increase the reflection then you can see what are the results Now we'll increase the intensity of sun, we'll make it to noon. Now we'll scroll out. And as you can see the reflection of the chair on the floor. This is what this windows do. As you can see the floor is too glossy for now. It is, it is reflecting the chair as well. Now we will reduce the glossiness and reflection to make it look like a floor. Now we will add a roof and remove the sunlight so that we can use the lights on our scene. These are the V-Ray lights. You have to enable it from the window. Click on tools. So you click on view, then toolbars, and then scroll down to V-Ray lights. Make sure that the checkbox is enabled and click close. You can see the toolbar there. These are the basic slides that comes with V-Ray. Now we'll remove the sunlight from the scene and we can see it is complete dark in the V-Ray. Now we will add a circle, we will select sphere light, we will click in between of the circle and extend it to the end, click on v main. close the material windows, then click on light, here we can see the sphere light we have added right now, but the intensity of it is too low. It is not illuminating this room right now. We will remove the circular light. We will add rectangle. We don't need any other rectangle for now. We will remove it. Now we will add rectangular light in the scene. Click on rectangular light. Click on edge of the rectangle we have just made and stretch it to the end now click on video buffer window as we can see the light like the rectangle right here and now we will increase the intensity to 30,000 it is too bright for our scene so we will reduce the 
we'll make it 15,000. Even now it is too bright for our scene, so we'll reduce it more. Now this looks fine for now. I hope this video was useful and informative for all. If you are still watching till the end, I have a special bonus for you architect. Click the link below in the description to download the book and use architecturebroadcast.in to open this book and do subscribe, share and like. And do let us know in the comment box which kind of video tutorials should we make next. If you are preparing for gate architecture, do check out the link below so you can download this book. And if you have not joined our Facebook private group, we recommend you to join our group so for more study materials. And don't forget to visit architect for more inspiration for your next architecture presentation sheet and to get update about jobs and free ebooks do join our telegram group if you like our work show your support on patreon that's all for today video guys we'll see you back with another video soon